All right, so today's lesson is about perimeter. And perimeter, the way I like to remember it is the prefix peri means around or about. And meter is a unit of measure. So the word perimeter, in my mind, means measuring around something. So I have a red line drawn around this um, little card that says perimeter to help me remember that. So I have this shape, this figure, and I want to know the perimeter of the figure or the distance around it. And to do that, First, I need to measure each side, and I've done that in advance. So this side is 20, and I happen to measure in centimeters, but for now we'll just refer to them as units. And this side is also 20 units, it's exactly the same. This side is 25 units, and this side is also 25 units. So to find the perimeter of this figure, I take and add up the measurement of all four sides. So that would be 25 plus 20 plus 25 plus 20. And of course, when we're adding, we can add in any order. It doesn't matter the order of the numbers. And when I add all of this up, it equals to 90. So the perimeter of this object or this figure is 90 units or 90 centimeters. Now, sometimes an object Oftentimes on a worksheet, you'll see that it has a grid on it like this, and it might ask, what is the perimeter of this object? And in that case, I can count each little inter interval here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units. And I can see that the top here is exactly the same. So ten units plus 10 units is 20, and I'm gonna hold that in my head because mental math is a good exercise. And then I'm going to count this edge. And I'm counting right along the edge here. One, two, three, four, five units. And I can see that this also has five units. So five plus five is 10, and I'm gonna add that to the 20 units that I still have in my head from these two sides. So 20 plus 10 is 30 units. So the perimeter of this object is 20 units, and they happen to be centimeters. Um, now, sometimes you have an object like this one that's an irregular shape. And I went ahead and measured this in advance. This side is 10 units. This is also 10 units. This side is 20 units and this side is 14. So again, if I want to find the perimeter or the distance around the outside of this object, I'll take and add up all the sides. So 10 plus 20 plus 10 plus 14. When I add that up, it equals 54. I'll put the equal sign down here. Now, sometimes you have an object like this one where some of the lengths are labeled or known and some are unknown. So in this case, the base is 10 centimeters. This side is 25 centimeters. This side is 15 and this side is five. And 
we're not sure what these are. But to find the perimeter, we need to add up all of the sides. So I know here, I'm actually just going to assume that these are right angles. We haven't talked about that yet. So um, assuming that, I know that this is five centimeters and this is 10 centimeters. So half of um, this is going to be five centimeters. So I know that this side is five centimeters. And I can see that this side is 25 centimeters and this side is 15 centimeters. So this must be what's left when I subtract 15 from 25. So 15 minus 25 is 10. So this unknown side has to be 10 centimeters. So when I add 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 25 plus 10 plus 15, I'm going to do that in my head, I get 70 centimeters. So the perimeter of this object is 70 centimeters. And that's how you find perimeter.